Hey crafters, welcome in to Guys Craft 2. So hopefully you are hearing me and we are live, it looks like. Hey Russ, thanks for dropping in. And I hope you are having an awesome day as well. I just finished working on some quilt blocks and it just amazes me how much work and effort goes in. Thank you. So Crazy enough, I've been working on these, finally got these pressed open. Now I gotta trim all the dog ears before I could even begin to you know sew again. It's like there's so many steps uh, that take place and you just don't realize that it's just, you know, I remember my big fear when I started all of this was sewing because I had no idea how to sew or what to do. And you know what? It seems like I spend more time cutting, trimming than I do actually sewing. Hey, Danielle, thanks for joining. So, um, I don't know. It's been a um, crazy weekend. We've gotten a lot accomplished, which is always a good thing. Um, hey, there's PBMK. We had our um, celebration yesterday at the Quilt Club, which was amazing. So I did do a post on that if you haven't seen it already. I've got some really terrific uh, fabrics in that. And um, not that I need it anymore. My shelves are getting so full. I spent uh, actually half the morning, it feels like, uh, just trying to get organized again because I just don't. I, I wish I was one of those people that could operate more in clutter, uh, but I can't. And it just drives me nuts. So. I spent a couple of hours this morning instead of doing the long arm that I'd wanted to do, um, trying to get this room put back together so I felt like I could function and um, just get some stuff done. But at the same time, you know, I say that, but I also work over there on that desk when I work from home two days a week. So it's really important that I keep um, keep some semblance of um organization and that kind of stuff here. So, hey, uh, hey, Barb, how are you? Thanks for joining. Enjoy tea, there she is. We missed each other yesterday. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, but I'm not, um, I wish we had actually met, but uh, that didn't happen. But um, I am sure we'll bump in. Uh, at some point to each other at the um, quilt club. It just seems like yesterday was such a chaos there. It was fun. And, um, you know, I mean, it's nice when people have uh, overpurchased stuff and they realize after a few years they don't want it because I did pick up some really amazing um, fabrics yesterday, uh, some very retro stuff that really just says, um, screams the us and kind of stuff that we like. So that was really cool. And then uh, working with um, just trying to find some other things. So instead of, oh, I thought C Joy was teasing. I keep hoping, but maybe, maybe you'll make it out here for um, QuiltCon. I keep trying to convince Russ that he needs to be out here next year. BBMKY will say the same thing. So I think we need to have a Geistcraft 2 um, night and just all get together and swap stories and talk about what's going on and all those fun things. What else? Um, so exciting news for us. I'm not sure what type of fans you all are, but... I like a lot of different music, and I have um, family that is much older than me, and so I grew up listening to all types of music. I like the bebop of the 50s and 60s. I like um, listening to uh, country western. Um, jazz is okay. Um, definitely like all the 80s rock, because uh, I'm definitely an 80s kid. but. Um, all that to say that we bought VIP tickets to Megan Trainer, who's coming to Phoenix October 16th. 
So um, spent probably too much money, but actually her concert, even for the VIP tickets, were more um, was uh, a better price, more reasonable than um, I've seen. So I actually thought it would be fun to have um, good seats to get to see her. I like her bebop. I, I know there's more than all about that bass. I actually have a Apple Music subscription, so I have all of her albums. And so I thought, you know what? Let's just treat ourselves. We haven't been to a concert since. Um, when did we go? Uh, last September, we went to see Elton John at Texas Ranger Stadium, who ends up beating us out for the um, World Series, but we won't talk about that. Um, so anymore, it's, we're lucky if we do a concert a year. They've gotten so expensive, and um, it's just gotten crazy. But we'll get there. And so she's coming on Russ's birthday. How cool is that? I will have to remember that. And yes, Russ, we are taking you to Filiberto's when you come. We're going to have the best time. We just need to make sure that you get out here with all of uh, with all the other folks. And uh, you'll have to start saving your pennies because I know we're going to clean up and want tons of goodies at QuiltCon. So I keep saying I'm going to cut back. I'm going to quit spending so I can get, um, have my money for um, QuiltCon. And yesterday I ended up going to the um, sale with the Quilt Club. And, I, you know, I only spent maybe $100. It wasn't, I'm not even sure if I spent that much. So it wasn't like it was awful. Uh, what was awful is the fact that um, Keepsake... I think it was Keepsake Quilting, had sent me an email uh, before I left, and I found three kits in there that I couldn't live without. So I ordered those and then went and bought more. So that's, you know, when I talk about having an illness, uh, mine is apparently spending and getting uh, put together for, um, for all these things. It is just way too, way too crazy. Um... Oh, BBMK loves making trades. See, you need to be out at uh, Talking Stick Amphitheater then with us in October. Her tickets, like I said, her tickets really weren't that bad. I mean, I think they have seats, um, depending on where you want to sit, is reasonable. It's like $65. And to me, that's anymore, that's almost a um, bargain price because these bands have gotten so um, crazy. Hey, Gene, thanks for coming in today. Joyty says, we all need a fabric intervention, and that is true. So, sorry, I have to roll off camera because, of course, I dropped one of my squares. And if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm sitting here cutting off all the little dog ears on my square so I can sew them and hopefully get this quilt project going. And it's just, you know, it's one of those things that just seems like there's so much going on. It could be a fun. Hey, Barb. I don't know if I said hi for and thanks for coming in. I appreciate each and every one of you all so much. It means um, means a lot to us that our channel has grown uh, the way it has, and we hope that you find some of the things that we do interesting. I will tell you, I finished a, a new video today for uh, wreath making because uh, that's how we actually started in crafting together was making wreaths. And so we needed a, um, I have a storage unit that's full of um, materials and wreaths. And would you believe that I don't have uh, exactly what I wanted for the um, cabin. So instead, we went and grabbed supplies yesterday and I did a quick wreath um, today. So I'm finishing up that video and that will be posted in a couple of days. So if you're interested in seeing something uh, other than quilting that we do, uh, that's great. That'll be posted on the channel because uh, we always meant for our channel to be uh, a lot more uh, than just uh, quilting, uh, although that seems to be our biggest interest right now. Uh, but I also, uh, in the description, make it very clear that it's a wreath-making video. So if you don't want to watch it and that's of no interest to you, uh, it's easy enough to skip on by it. So that should be up uh, in the next day or two. Russ says, 
Uh, I'm trying to remember the last concert. It was Trans Siberian Tran, um, Orchestra or Shania Twain. Man, I used to love Shania Twain back in the day. I don't know that I know anything fairly recent for her. Um, I will admit I don't follow country like I used to. It's interesting. The days I have to go to work uh, because I've got a 45 minute to an hour drive, depending on time of day and traffic. I actually um, got a new subscription to um, Sirius, uh, Sirius XM. And so in the morning, I listen to 80s. And I have no idea why I do this, but I listen to 80s driving to work. And then um, in the afternoon, I switch back to what they call prime country. And that's all uh, 80s and 90s uh, country. So it's funny. I don't keep up uh, as much with some of the new um, artists. I know Kane Brown is one of the new artists out there. Uh, he's got a few songs that I like. Uh, of course, there's Luke Bryant and all of them, but I don't even consider them so new anymore. But I don't keep up with country like I used to, but I always loved country. It's just different. You know, it's so funny when you move to the West Coast and you start realizing how different things are. So as an example, <laughs> Russ says the last concert was Backstreet Boys. Oh, not even going to make a comment about that. I like my boy bands too. Um, interesting enough. Hey, Vera. We welcome all Texans on the channel. <coughs> so, um, interesting enough, we decided, I decided, since I'm bartender at most of our parties, that for um, the derby party that we're having on May 4th, uh, we are having um, mint juleps. And we are having uh, bourbon slush. So bourbon slush, I'm cheating on. Uh, bourbon slush, I only make at Christmas. I only make it for a Christmas party. And I typically don't have it at any other party through the year. Uh, since we're having derby party this year, uh, and bourbon is very much Kentucky. Uh, and I had a bag of slush left over, uh, actually, from our Christmas party. So I'm kind of cheating and using that, but I have a lot of friends that just love my bourbon slush. Um, but I have that for um, the derby party coming up. Joyty says, my ties is what she likes. Um, we are, um, when I was home, uh, my niece told me, she goes, Maker's Mark actually makes a pre-made uh, mint julep. So you don't have to go through all the gyrations of making your own simple syrup, which means boiling down the mint leaves and uh, straining those and um, making it right. Because, you know, a, a good mint julep is a good mint julep. So uh, Maker's Mark uh, is actually, you know, pretty famous. So that is what we had planned to do is just buy the pre-made this year. Uh, but apparently no one in the Phoenix metropolitan area sells that uh, particular brand. They do have Old Forester, which is another Kentucky bourbon. Uh, and that ended up what I had to get. But I actually had to go to two total wine stores to get it. So tonight, after our live, I am going to be running to the uh, wine store to pick up Old Forester's uh, Mint Julep because uh, I wanted to make sure I got it. And uh, each store within a 10 mile radius only got one bottle. So apparently Kentucky uh, bourbon, Kentucky celebrations, and that time of year out here is not, not something folks are celebrating and looking for. So I'm glad I thought about getting it early enough though, because um, it really will save us time on everything else that we're doing and pretty excited. I will have to show you the Kentucky Derby hat I am putting together and working. Uh, I do have my Kentucky, uh, Kentucky Derby wreath finished um, with all the roses and that because, as you know, the Derby is called Run for the Roses. So I do have that piece done. 
And then the next thing is working on um, the arrangements, decorating the house, putting all that together. But before any of that happens, uh, this weekend, this coming weekend, we will be headed back to North Arizona to the new cabin. To um, Our furniture comes on Friday, so we're anxious for that. Uh, the rest of our appliances show up on Saturday. And so hopefully this time next week, we will be doing a live out of northern Arizona from our new park home and uh, maybe show you a little bit about what that's going to look like. But um, it'll be nice just to be able to have a break and get away. I won't be sewing probably next weekend up there because we already have a car full to take, which does not include the sewing machine or anything else. But um, hopefully in the next trip uh, we go up, I'll be able to take that kind of stuff and uh, start getting settled in so I can craft and do some things when we're up there on the weekend. And Vera says, I broke my foot from dancing. It's easy top and kid concert. It didn't stop me from continuing to dance and have a good time until after I got home. Yes, it's amazing what we, um, what we sacrifice and then realize later um, what we may have done while we were out having a good time. But I love Kid Rock. Uh, I actually have a couple of his albums downloaded on um, Apple Music. Yes, Joydy, that is the plan um, to show and hopefully have things put together. It'll depend on how Saturday and Sunday goes. We shall see. Um, I'm anxious to get back up there because um, we're having the house painted, painted and a few things put together that way. And the issue is we don't have, um, you know, I haven't been up there for a couple of weeks. So it'll be uh, interesting to see what was actually accomplished without us there and what has been going on since. So what else were we talking about? Um, because I made a list today because I always forget. And yes, I know on here one of the things I was going to talk about is my long arm. And look how pretty that long arm is. It's such a pretty nice machine. I did manage to get all the updates uh, downloaded in the QCT software. I did upgrade to version six, which I think actually is to my benefit because they gave me a nice instruction manual, uh, which is really kind of one of the things I've been missing. So it has some. Um, really step-by-step -step type instructions, which really seems to make the most sense for me. And I had planned to do that today, but like I said earlier, I am um, I just have to have my craft room just totally organized. And when it's not, it just really drives me nuts. So instead, I ended up doing that today. And... Hopefully in two weeks, when we're home again on the weekend, I will be able to work on long arm. Um, updates for us. Some things have changed. Um, I work for an amazing company, great company, very happy with my job. Very, very happy with my position. The fact that I'm able to work. Uh, and have every other Friday off and work from home three days a week. Um, all of that just got blown out of the water because um, I was uh, I got a promotion at work, which is great. Um, obviously, you know, with promotions you get more money means better for my pension when the time comes. Uh, but unfortunately, now as a manager, I lose the ability to. Um, have every other Friday off. So now I've got to start working like everybody else five days a week. And I um, have to go to the office three days a week now instead of two. So some big changes, but one of those things I had to do because it was just for retirement purposes and that it was just uh, crazy if I didn't. So, and I'm happy. I mean, um, it's not like, uh, yeah, there's a lot of benefits to the new position. Uh, it's just um, more change. And one thing Curtis hates is change. And um, one thing it seems to be a steady in my life is change. And so we do what we do. 
Russ says they're really making you work for that money. And that is so very true. That's kind of what I felt like. I really just wanted to say, no, I don't think I'm interested. I appreciate the opportunity. And then also realize politically sometimes what you just have to do. And um, like I said, it's a good company. It's a, a great opportunity. Um, so it is what it is. You know, I say that quite a bit. So with that said, that is the biggest update on my life. Look, I managed to get all the dog ears trimmed. Just takes forever. Now I can actually sew and maybe accomplish some things with y'all. Vera says you need more money to keep buying fabrics. So the sad thing is, that's one of the things I thought of. I thought, well, at least now I don't have to feel as guilty about buying and spending some of the money because now I'm making more. So we will just go along with that. So we'll see how that turns out. But I'm really excited for this particular Christmas present. I'm anxious to see how this ends up turning out. It has been so long, and I feel like sometimes that it's been like so long since I've sewn that I've almost got to stop and think about how how do I sew if it's actually been that long. Let's see how this is turning out. Oh, yeah, this is going to be so cool. So this is the Marines quilt that I am working on. And so I am very excited to see how this is going to work. Um, I did get all of the U of L ones cut today. And these are so hard to open. I don't know why I have so, I guess, cause I have fat fingers. I did get all of those cut, uh, cut out today. Now what I've got to do is iron all of these open and then go back and um, trim those dog ears so then I can get to the point that I am over here with these. So that will be the next thing for us to work on. Maureen, say, uh, Maureen, Maureen says, hi, John, the longer you can work, the better your social security will be. Worked until I was 75. I know. And, you know, I keep thinking of that. Uh, I have a big birthday coming this year. Curtis is supposed to be throwing me a big birthday bash. Um, my plans are to work eight more years. Um, we will see. I mean, fortunately, I um, may not be the thinnest person in the world, but I'm very fortunate not to have any uh, health issue. And so that makes uh, a big difference. And um, like I said, I really like what I do. I like the company that I work for. Um, I like the people that I associate with. Um, most... Um, most of um, the employees that I have to interact with in that are usually pretty respectful and uh, pretty dynamic. Uh, what frustrates me the most is um, I, um, because I vacated my position, I have my position to fill, and uh, another one of the, uh, my team members decided to move to a different group uh, within our department, which is an amazing opportunity for them. But um, so now all of a sudden I'm going into a new department and the first thing I have to do is backfill two openings uh, to give us some um, support and breathing. So that is um, next. We start next week with interviews. I just got through doing some resume screening from that. And so that will um, that will help to make a difference once we get there. But um, just too funny. Hey, one of the things I was thinking about is if you all would be interested in doing a sew along at some point. I um been looking at maybe doing something with a jelly roll and doing um, having um, looking for a free pattern uh, that anyone that wants to join could do so and we might uh, pick the month of maybe may uh, not may but maybe june maybe july uh, to do a so long with a um, jelly roll in a particular pattern 
think it's always fun watching the other channels and see how um, how we all pick the same pattern and we all end up um, doing it completely different or making it look completely different because we put um, because we chose different fabrics and how we put some of those fabrics together. So I am thinking about doing that. If you know of some free patterns that you think would be cool to do, let me know. Um, and unfortunately, I will say I did end up going out to um, Backwater Shop today, which I didn't need to. And she had several jelly rolls on sale, so I ended up buying uh, a couple of jelly rolls. So what I need to do is instead start working on um, getting uh, some of the kits that I have on the shelf uh, completed and done. But we'll see. It just uh, never stops. Thanks, BBMK. I know. I um, once we get those filled, that'll make all the difference. It just um, you know, it just takes time, and it's um, it's nice that you know I have the ability to kind of start almost new with my own staff and be able to put the department together back the way I want. But it's still um, still kind of crazy. Oh, Danielle must be going to bed night. Hey, Dale, thanks for joining. Welcome into the group. And if you're new to the channel, I appreciate each and every one of you. Our subscribers have hit um, 778, something like that. We continue to grow, which is really kind of cool. And at the same time, um, kind of makes me humbled. Um, I do wish um, I was able to do more and be a little bit more present, but that's what we keep hoping. We keep hoping that things will kind of calm down. Um, but Curtis says, I enjoy the chaos and I like um, like things just always up and going. And because of that, we always seem to have, um, um, always ha seem to have something going on. 781 subscribers. See, thanks Russ. How cool is that? It's just, you know, um, I know, um, Russ was talking on his channel the other day. Uh, I think it was LeWayne was talking about uh, doing his first live. And I will tell you, I've learned so much by listening to uh, Russ and Sean and Shannon and um, just that whole group. And um, it's very humbling uh, as you start building your own subscriber base. It's uh, very interesting to try to figure out um, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense. It's um, just um, just completely different. I will tell you, too, if you all are curious who I follow, who I listen to, uh, it is part of the descriptions and that that end up uh, out on the YouTube video afterwards. I do need to figure out how to put Nightbot on. So when folks like Russ joins me, who has Quilt Meets World, I can... Um, you all can flag your own channels and that. But um, I will tell you, technology has not been my friend. Today, I spent about two hours deciding how to hook up a um, second camera to StreamYard because I really thought it would be cool if I was able to use uh, two cameras, especially in showing how I was putting the wreath together. And after about two hours, I decided... Uh, I had spent enough time doing that and not doing what I wanted to do was fun. And we'll go back to that. So that right now is why you only see one camera on here. I really need to focus and figure out how I'm going to put a second camera on. Because I do think it makes such a big difference. And when you watch uh, the different channels and are able to see more of what they're sewing and what they're doing versus um, kind of things from a distance. I get that, and I appreciate um, that they have the technical ability to figure those things out. Um, I used to think for my age, I was pretty technically savvy, but I think technology is just changing so fast and just keeps moving and keeps going that it's like, um, I'm not sure anybody keeps up. I, um, last August, bought a um, electric vehicle. Since I work for an electric company, it was kind of a smart decision for me. 
uh, makes it really easy because I'm able to drive the HOV lanes in Arizona all the time because I am all, all electric. Um, and then because I work for an electric company, I get to charge my vehicle at work for free, which is an even better perk. Uh, but then I also realized I had no idea how to um, operate the stupid car. And now cars have gotten to the point that you have to watch videos and YouTubes to figure out just how to lock and unlock the doors and that. It just, that just drives me nuts. I'm like, I'd rather just drive my little golf cart around the community. And yes, because we live in a retirement community, I do have a golf cart and we love the golf cart. So the plan is one day to sell everything. I guess I'll have to keep some type of vehicle to get to the house up north, but um, the plan is to be able to just get to everything here I need in a golf cart. Video, techno video technology, easy to figure out, and it's still a pain. I know. I have to say, I have, um, based on Sean's recommendation, I ended up going out and doing StreamYard instead of um, Zoom. I really like StreamYard. StreamYard does a lot of things really well. Um, but what I haven't been able to figure out, I can do the two cameras. I just can't make the system understand that I have another camera sitting out there that I'm trying to connect in. And so I don't think it's a StreamYard problem. I think it's an Apple Mac issue. And we will get that addressed because I am I'm one of those that can't stand to be defeated. And so I'm not going to let something like that defeat me, but we shall see. So, hey, let's talk about, um, oh, Danielle trying to get my attention. Where is Danielle? Oh. Have a good night, Danielle. Thank you for tuning in. We always love to hear from you. If you have not been over to Danielle's channel, Danielle is putting out some really cool um, YouTube lives. She just had, um, I watched her uh, yesterday. Oh, she is behind me, isn't she? Yeah, and you know, it's funny because I put that, I actually have a, um, wall-mounted TV in both craft rooms that pretty much play, it seems like, 24-7 on YouTube. And um, I have a difficulty catching lives around here because they are, um, because of the three-hour time difference, uh, can be difficult sometimes for us. But I tend to um, keep them on, and that's how... I'm able to see what um, what's happening. I watched, um, I actually did catch Sean live yesterday morning. And that's only because I'm a very early riser and actually was able to get in here and um, listen to probably the last 20, 30 minutes of his live. And then uh, as I was sewing and getting stuff ready um, today, I was able to catch up with Russ and all the fun things he has going on. He made a panel, um, he made a tote bag, um, actually out of a panel. So if you have not seen Russ's live, um, that was really cool because I just bought myself, I really like these old fashioned um, tissue box covers. And so, a Chew Bless You uh, Brighton Designs. Jody Hofton Designs off of Etsy has come up with a way of putting these um, tissue box covers together. She makes uh, several. One is this um, flamingo. So, of course, I love flamingos. Uh, she also makes a couple of that are uh, more prayerful. Uh, and she's got one with uh, sunflowers and one with bees. So I ended up buying a few of those. Uh, to try to put together because um, doing them embroidery-wise on the um, other machine is just way too much work for me. So that's not going to happen. So we shall see. 
Quilty Love has a cute, scrappy, granny square jelly roll pattern. Oh, 60 to 70. All right. I will definitely take a look and see what, um, what that looks like. Because I think I just wanted to do a jelly roll mainly because I've only done one. And I thought it might be fun. Um, I definitely would like to do some pre-cuts. Um, it's funny. I just joined an AccuQuilt um, cutting group. Because I spend um, spent all this money on AccuQuilt and I need to use it a whole lot more. So Quilty Love. Scrappy Granny Square. Cool. Scrappy Granny Square. Can you tell I'm a typical male and not used to multitasking? Oh, sorry. I wanted to make sure I got that down so I did not lose it. Thank you, BB. Mom made tissue box covers for those plastic cross stitch grids, but that looks fun. Um, so it's interesting you say that because not too long ago, I actually found my fraternity uh, plastic grid tissue box cover because in the fraternity, my, I think she was my big sis. Yeah, almost positive. She was my big sis. Um, used to make, you know, I always thought of it as needlepoint, but those big plastic grids with yarn. Uh, she used to make all of us in the fraternity uh, ones with our letters and that on there and our pledge class, I think, and um, in our frat colors. And I just found that the other day, and I was like, wow, if that doesn't bring back some memories, that's that definitely uh, is retro nowadays. But I um, one of the ladies in Quilt Club actually am, uh, does them uh, as a, an embroidery module on um, her machine. And I actually bought a couple. She made me one for Halloween last year. I bought one at the quilt show that was Christmas. And then I need something that's a little less seasonal. And that's why when I saw those, I thought that might be something really cool. I don't know. I mean... I've always thought that was kind of cool, and it seems like, I guess, um, it's like everything else. They kind of come and go. Um, I've always thought uh, it was nice to have a tissue box cover so it wasn't so crazy, and then other times it's um, they seem just out of style, but a lot of people think I'm out of style, and that works for me, too. So it is uh, all right. I don't... Um, like I told somebody the other day, somebody asked me something about, was I worried about someone's opinion? And I said, well, until they start paying my mortgage, I really don't value a lot of people's opinions. You know, it's, um, I'm going to do what I want to do and live the way I want to live and you know, try to do the right thing and treat people the way I think they should be treated. And um, it just amazes me how, um, how many things we get hung up on. And, um, just misaligned. It's just um, kind of scary. Phoebe says, did your mom also make the cute Mrs. Claus with the empty soap dish bottles? No, she did not. I will have to look for that. I would be curious to see what those look like. Now, I do remember mom had, um, what was it, Joy? was the big yellow bottle of, um, you know, soap, dish soap um, that she had on the counter. And there was an apron dress-like uh, that she used to put on it. Uh, but it wasn't, didn't have anything to do with Mrs. Claus. Yeah, and uh, Russ has been talking about crocheting a lot, which is kind of interesting because I just got all my yarn crochet hooks out and join crocheted world because Curtis does not like that I'm in here sewing and doing things and he's not. So I thought that might encourage him to sew more, but or learn to sew, uh, but it didn't. Uh, so instead, now I'm trying to start crocheting and doing some things so we can watch TV together at night. So, so what are um, what are some things you're all watching? What's um, the latest on television. It's 
Corey. Definitely dry on the West Coast. But cold again. Our temperatures keep dropping. It's like crazy. It was so nice the other day. We had a concert in the park. Faded Jeans was the band. Um, it's Tuesday night, uh, Thursday night. It was Thursday night. The high that day was like in the 80s. Uh, by the time we got to the concert, um, the um, boomers had pulled pork or um, shredded chicken barbecue sandwiches with mac and cheese and all that stuff. And it could not have been any more perfect weather to be outside in the park, in the lawn chair, kind of having a picnic dinner and eating. And the next morning I woke up and it was freezing cold again. This is, um, I actually had to put a sweatshirt on yesterday to go to the um, quilt club sale because I'm a big baby. I cannot stomach being cold. I hate cold weather. I hate everything about cold weather. That's why I moved to Arizona. And here it is, almost the middle of April. And we're wearing uh, sweatshirts out here, which is just crazy to me. Katrina says it was pink and had pom-poms on his head. I think we're talking about the Mrs. Claus bottle. Katrina, I knew someone that had a white poodle bottle cover. Yeah, you know, it's funny. Um, until you all mentioned that, I forgot that Mom had those um, aprons-like, and those were always kind of cool. But, you know, nowadays people don't seem to set out I guess because we all have dishwashers, we don't have um, dish detergent like we used to. And here, I know our um, our sink actually has a pump, so you pull the pump out and you fill it up with the um, dish detergent, and then drop it back down. So uh, there's no reason to have the bottle out, but you know, kind of having that bottle out was very sixties. And it's funny what you remember. I swear, I think it was Joy was the name of the um, dish detergent that my mother used. And my grandmother only used palm olive. I remember that big green bottle that smelled unlike anything else. And um, to me, that smelled like my grandmother. Because I remember as she got older... Um, she moved out of her farmhouse into a um, really modern, nice um, apartment. And when she did so, it had a um, dishwasher. And, um, of course, she still did all her dishes by hand because she didn't trust the dishwasher to do as good a job as she did. And I will say um, it probably would not have. Uh, I don't think my grandmother had. Uh, the first three layers of skin and um, had any feeling left in her fingers because uh, when she did dishes, she did dishes in scalding hot water. And um, I just remember, I was like, how on earth is she sticking to her hand in that water? And um, I guess just being on the farm and doing things the way she had done it for so many years, that was just the way she did it. All right. Look at this. I feel so good. I'm actually, I got all of these cut. I got all of these trimmed. I have almost got the first row of these put back together. So see, when you focus and have a YouTube live, you can really accomplish a lot of great things. Now the only problem is I got to go back and press them all again, trim them one more time, and then uh, put them back together one more time before I can start putting the borders and that on. But it feels good to know that I'm in April and I'm getting close to having the quilt top done for a Christmas present. And I plan to, uh, I need to do the same with the other one. Uh, so both of these are Christmas presents and these recipients are actually going to be here. For my birthday so we will actually get to have christmas with them in person which is even better all right i keep missing chat i thought today that curtis might come in and uh, help do some things but he didn't he's cleaning the house today because our housekeeper called and was sick and was cleaning the house on friday but um 
at is um, kind of what's going on and what's been happening. So we are looking for, um, where's my list? So this week, I only, this will be my last Friday off. So tomorrow I get to work from home. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I will be in the office. But after work on Thursday, we will be actually heading to northern Arizona. So i got to pack the car on Wednesday night. We have all the pictures. Uh, we bought all canvas prints in that for the um, new house. So those are all here. So we've got to take all of those. Because the problem with not being up there is... Um, trying to time deliveries and things like that. Uh, so we end up having everything shipped here, which means then we got to truck it up there. And um, I don't have the biggest car in the most space, but it is what it is. Um, I'm really looking forward to spending a long uh, Memorial Day weekend up there. And I think that will be when we finally feel like it's ours. It will kind of be settled in. But um, for the most part this week, I'm hoping for a fairly quiet week uh, for things not to be too wild. But we will kind of see how that is. I work uh, a position in uh, human resources. And so it's very dependent upon um, employees and individuals. And sometimes, uh, sometimes that's great. Sometimes it's not. And sometimes it is what it is. So um, but at the end of the day, that's, um, that's what I'm paid for, and I just have to figure it out. So hopefully um, this will be a more calm week. Um, and it's hard to believe, you know, Easter has been here and gone. Uh, we're hitting tax day, which I'm not going to talk about because Uncle Sam was not kind to me this past year. Um, so I've got that to finish up and deal with. And, but, you know, it's really like six weeks to summer, and it's hard to believe that we're, um, we're still so cold, but yet to be so close to, um, to where we're at. Oh, BBMK says maybe a P.O. box would help. I think I need to just talk to the RV park, because um, we do have our own mailboxes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'm not sure when it comes to, like, Amazon deliveries and some of that stuff, if we, um, how they handle that. Um, because I know we're not the only part time residents up there. So it's funny, I saw something on Facebook today, um, that said, um, snowbirds, uh, winter's over, it's time to go home. And I thought, oh my God. So they call up there what's interesting, they don't call us summer birds because we're trying to escape the heat down here in Phoenix. They actually call us flatlanders. So um, they make reference to you people from the flatland like to come up during the summer and um, see, um, see what might be happening and what might be going on. So I don't know. We'll, um, we'll see how that turns out. Even in case this, her brain and fingers don't cooperate enough for knitting and crocheting. I've always been, I don't mind crocheting. Um, the problem is trying to learn and follow a pattern because I tend to do just single or double um, stitch when it comes to crochet. Not as creative as I would like to be. And uh, knitting, I just never did master um, working with the two. Uh, that just always seemed more confusing. I have knitted, but really not accomplished anything at the end of it. Katrina says at her aunt's park, they hold packages at the main gate, and then they call the residents to come pick them up. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out. I know we don't have, it's not a gated community, so, but I'm wondering, uh, because the way our mail room is situated, if, um, if we have things through the mail and that, if um, they might be able to hold it in the mail room. Um, we'll see. Like I said, we've only spent... Um, we haven't spent but maybe six hours in the park because the day we got the keys, Curtis and I were there. Uh, we literally took Clorox wipes and cleaned everything that stood still. So cabinet doors and interior cabinets and 
all of that. He cleaned the shower, uh, did all the bathroom. He's good about doing the wet rooms. I uh, did the kitchen sink and all that. We vacuumed everything. We uh, cleaned the floors only to know uh, over the last two weeks, painters have been in and out. Uh, so I'm sure we'll have some touch up to do from just that. So we hope to do that Thursday night, early Friday morning. And then Friday is going to be a blur because we have a entire house full of furniture coming in along with the car load that we're taking up and then the appliances coming on Saturday. And then we're having some work done outside as well. So we'll have to fool with that and figure out how all of that's going to work out for us. So you just never know. So gang, I appreciate you all joining us um, and listening to me rattle on. I thought I would actually be on longer today, but it looks like uh, we're going to hit just about one hour today. I am hoping uh, to do a live on Tuesday night. I know that's tougher for some of you all on the East Coast, but um, we'll see how that uh, works out. Seems like the four o'clock Sunday slot does work well for us, and that is our plan to try to hold this uh, when we can. But we know that you all have got other channels and that that you listen to. Uh, if you're watching another channel and ours happens to pop up, don't don't leave that channel. You can always see us in the replay. But we appreciate each and uh, each of you being here. Uh, and being part of our channel uh, when you can be. But yes, we do have a busy weekend coming up. It's going to be a crazy um, next week or two. But like I said, I'm hoping if we can get through the next couple of weeks that things will actually slow down so we can start just enjoying life again. So with that said, I do appreciate all of you joining in. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Thanks for all your uh, comments, and I hope to see you all on Tuesday. Until next time, happy crafting.